Oh, there's some shit right here. I contracted COVID a few days ago. And I've pretty much just been home since I found out that I contracted COVID. So for the past month, I've been really focused on writing. I pretty much wrote from the time I woke up to the time I went to bed all month. Why? Because I decided that I no longer want to waste time. I'm so tired of being distracted and not giving myself the chance to really develop what I enjoy and to see where it would lead. I've got goals and dreams. We all do. But what seems more and more apparent to me is that most people would rather let these dreams die than to pursue the possibilities. I know possibilities often seem very far-fetched. They seem that way because they're often so far removed from our own comfort zones. I haven't really filmed anything for at least the past month. I'm starting to work on other aspects of content creation, such as focusing more or spending more time on writing rather than worrying about producing videos. As the end of the year draws near, I'd like to look back on what all I've done in the past 12 months. I went to Turkey at the beginning of this year, and I witnessed the aftermath of two super earthquakes that rocked southeastern Turkey and northeastern Syria in February 2023. On the road for three days, my friends and I were exposed to the horrors of mass destruction how fragile our lives really are and how quickly our lives can be turned upside down. Those three days on the road affected me deeply. Spending two months in Turkey really gave me the time and space to reflect on many things. I came home started journaling systematically, took videography a bit more seriously, and shut down the business I was so burnt out on. I also started a job that exposed me to my weaknesses and strengths. It taught me a lot, and I met really cool people there. Oh my God! <laughs> but still, I was unsatisfied. This, these bars are everywhere. I kept on searching for that something and have embarked on yet another journey towards the end of the year. The journey of me taking writing seriously and opening myself up to another layer of possibility. The one that I'm not used to. It's a really warm day today, so I decided to come out into the woods and just try to get some fresh air before it gets cold again. Anyway, for the past month, I've been writing every day. Not just writing in my journal every day, but I'm actually taking notes, expanding on my notes, doing mostly brain dump type of writing where I have like a specific topic and I'll write out anything that comes to mind. I've also started this new form of writing that's pretty much inspired by a medium publication. All of their articles are 150 words or less, which is 150 words is about a one minute read. So. For me, it's good to write shorter articles because I don't have to spend as much time on writing. It kind of prevents me from overthinking 
quite a bit. Did I regret this past year? No. Did I regret some of my other past years? Quite frankly, yes. But there's no need to continue with our own sunk cost fallacy by dwelling in the past. It's without roof right now, so we can't really climb up there like how I climbed up the other tower. After all, I'm getting closer and closer to discovering myself in the process. Four thousand weeks is the average lifespan of a human being. Yes. 4,000 weeks roughly equals 76 years on Earth. What do you want to do with the 76 years of life? I mean, do you want to make the most of it? Or are you just gonna let the years slip? I think it's a clear choice.